Hey guys, it's Connor here, and welcome back to the Fleetwood Town Career Mode today in episode 6. And I've got three matches for you in this episode. First off is against AFC Wimbledon in the league. They're placed 17th, so I was looking for a win this game. And we're playing them on the 17th of November, which is quite ironic. So we got thrown here, but it gets intercepted. Maro picks it up, though. Then does a wee bit of turning past the Alvarez. Then he sees parking in the box, but gets taken down. That's the second time we've got one of those penalties. I don't really think it should be a penalty myself, but the ref thinks it should be. So I shouldn't be complaining. So our best penalty taker on the pitch at the moment is Broski, so I choose him to step up and he does smash it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to us in the 26th minute. I'm enjoying using him, but he's getting a bit old now, so I probably won't be using him for that much longer. He's 29 and... I don't. I think I'll sell him at the end of the season to get his like maximum worth, so I don't like lose any money I could have got from and get a better player. So that's the end of the game. It's one 0 to us, and a good result. And three points is nothing to complain about. But I think we should have been more, won more comfortably. The result doesn't always show how well I dominate possession and shots and passing. I always get tons of shots away and they only get like one or two shots away per match. But I, can, I can't score many goals because my players don't have that good of finishing or like crossing. They're not they're really low rated is what I'm trying to say. So they're not going to have like amazing finishing like Messi or Ronaldo obviously. So we're putting Barkhausen on now and he did prove to be a, the vital player in this match. And he does get a goal here in the fifth minute. If finds him in the box and he smashes it into the bottom corner with his left foot which is his weaker foot. He's on loan from Blackpool at the moment so I'm not sure if I'll be signing him at the end of the season. He is a good player, he's only 19 and he's 60 overall so I might like to sign him, I'm not sure yet. But in the 27th minute here we dispossess Wooten, I think his name is how you pronounce so we get the ball with Ali, he does try to do a bit of skill but I can't seem to do any skill with him. He does have three star skills, but I can't seem to relate with him. Broski picks it up and smashes it into the bottom corner to make it 2-1 to us, 2-0 to us in the 30th minute. Getting another goal for us in the same episode. He's getting quite a lot of goals. He's just hit form now. But like I said, I might be looking to sell him at the end of the season to get his maximum worth. But Plymouth do hit back in the 63rd minute here. A good cross from Gurry, Gurry, and finds Warren Feeney. I think he used to play for Dundee United, and he scores in the 64th minute to make it 2 1 to us. And that's another win for us. Plymouth for League 2, well, position 2. Well, second in the league, what I'm trying to say. So that was a good result since we're fifth, we're fifth now in the league. Well, at this point in the episode, and that was a great goal and clearance. Like it could have been 2 2, and we would only get a point from that match. So we're playing Conor McLaughlin that left wing instead of Ali because that's the only guy I think who can really replace him and he does get a goal here in ninth minute. For right back he is picking up quite a lot of goals. That's his third or fifth third, fourth or fifth goal. I can't remember. I think it's fifth because I remember looking at a squad report um at the end of the next episode and he's picked up like five goals. And now that's a goal kick and I think that's the end of the game. Is that the game? Or Conor McLaughlin. So in the 85th minute here, Conor McLaughlin gets the ball and smashed it into the back of the net. His second goal of the game in the 87th minute. And that's his fifth goal for us now. Which is pretty good for a right back as I was saying. He's quite young as well. I should really be using my right back, but since Rocky Alvarez is 17, no he's 16. And he's 62 overall, and I think Conor McLaughlin's 21, and he's 64 or 65 overall now. So I think Rocky Alvarez will be better. So I'll have Conor McLaughlin as my right back. So I've got plenty of cover for right back position. And that's the end of the episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.